Welcome back to MicroStrategy's Mobile App Developer Academy. In this segment, I'll be covering a way to give your mobile apps a little extra flair using a feature called Animation Launch Screen. This launch screen is a stylish and customizable introductory animation that greets users as they start up the application. It can give your app a more dynamic and robust presence that wows new users as they enter the app. This animation is fairly easy to implement. Getting started is simple. Though, before you begin, make sure you have reviewed the associated topic iOS rebranding environment setup. You'll need to prepare your environment as outlined in that topic before attempting to build out this animation. In addition, you'll need three images similar to the ones created here. One is the image you want to show in your animation. It can be any image you like. Good options are company logos or the name of the app or the application logo. Any visual you want to put front and center for your users. It needs to be no less than 480 by 360 pixels and no more than the size of your document screen. These are the general guidelines, but you can experiment with in-between sizes if you want. You'll also need two all-black background images. One is for landscape view to support devices in landscape orientation, and that image should be 1024 by 748. The portrait view image is also all black and should be 768 by 1004 pixels. Make sure you have these two background images and your animation image. To get started, we are first going to open the MicroStrategy Xcode project. This may have already been downloaded during a previous topic. If this is not the case, you'll need to open the project folder, find MicroStrategy Mobile, and then navigate to the Xcode project file. Double click it to open. We can close this other folder now. Maximize the window to match your screen. Xcode will index some files on the startup. Give it some time, and now we're ready to get started. Here you see the MicroStrategy Mobile project. First, we want to expand the project. You will see all the files and folders that are part of the project. The folder that we are going to focus on is Custom. We're doing a custom animation, so most of the work is here. Expand the Custom folder, find Bundle, and expand it. Find Contents and expand that. Finally, find Resources and expand that folder. You'll notice there is nothing there yet. Right-click Resources and click Show in Finder. The reason for this is we are going to add our images to the Resources pool. Select your animation image and drop it in Resources. Close the window. You'll see it now shows up under Resources. If you click it, you'll see the image in the workspace. To clean up your view, go ahead and collapse those folders. The next thing we'll do is bring in a file that will contain all the properties for this animation. The file is already in the project, we just need to add it. Right-click Custom, select Add Files to MicroStrategy Mobile, the project. We're going to take this MicroStrategy customization.plist file. Select Copy Items into Destinations Group folder, if needed. Check both targets so we can use this in either an iPhone or an iPad app. Then Add. Now you can see the file. Now, click that file to see all the properties for customizations. We don't need to worry about any of those. Ignore them for now. Right-click Root and add a row. We're going to add two rows in total. The first is Intro Animation Image. The app needs to know which image it needs to find. In the blank field, we want to put the name of our image, which is logo.png. The next row, we right-click Root and add a row. Once we add the row, we want to enter Intro Animation Type. Be sure to type the name correctly as it is case sensitive. Change type to number. In the value field, change zero, which means no animation, to one, which is the first of two available animations available. We have intro animation type and intro animation image for our two rows. One is the animation type assigned. We need to now save these changes. Command save is an easy way. You could also go under the file menu. Once you have these items, we want to be sure to change our scheme to iPad. We also want to change it to the simulator so we can test and see what happens. Now we're ready to run our code. It's currently going through multiple steps to prepare for and compile the code to build the application. It will take a few moments to bring up the simulator. Notice that the default MicroStrategy launch image still renders. Then the animation globe comes up and renders as the image. Then we enter the application. Everything is working as designed, but now we want to try to remove that default image and go straight into our animation. Quit the simulation. 
reset the contents and settings so we don't have anything repeat. Quit the simulator. To replace those launch images, we are going to click the project and then the iPad target. This will take us to the summary tab. We want to scroll down to launch images. Under launch images, right click and delete the launch images because we don't want to see those at all. All we have to do now is drag and drop the all black images into our application. Be sure the images are the correct sizes as referenced in the beginning of this topic. They will not drop otherwise. If you highlight the images, you will see the current image sizes. Let's clean our build so we don't have to have any old references to old files. Make sure your scheme is correct. MicroStrategy Mobile iPad is set to simulator. Now let's run it again. It's compiling, linking. A warning is returned, but it is not of concern. It has succeeded. Here comes the app. It's launching and we see that it goes straight into our animation without the default launch image showing on the screen. Now let's examine the other simulation type available. We will quit the simulator again. We'll go back into our customizations.plist file and change the animation type to two. There are only two animation types, one for globe and two for multiply with zero being no animation whatsoever. We will clean the build to make sure there are no bad references. We will check out Scheme, and then we will run it and view this new animation type. Launching, we have a black intro background, and our new animation runs. Now it would just depend on your preference as to which animation you choose to use. We will quit out of the simulator. Essentially, this is everything you need to know to implement the opening animation. Now you have an exciting and engaging introduction to your application that users will see upon their first entry. Note that the animation will not show up on subsequent entries depending on your caching settings and whether users fully close the app. This completes this tutorial. If you'd like to continue with packaging and deployment of your customized application, you can reference the iOS rebranding topics for those and other details. And that's a wrap for this model course on animated image splash screens. Thanks for watching.